Hello and welcome back to the video series of finite element analysis. I am Bhavik Soneji and today I am going to talk about the dynamic finite element analysis. So let's get started. So first of all we will understand what is the dynamic FEA then we will see some uh, problems of free vibration in a rod and beam and then we will see some lump mass matrix to solve this kind of dynamic analysis so first of all let's understand what is dynamic FEA or dynamic F finite element analysis so in the previous videos or in the previous chapters we have seen the problems which are static the field variable of those problem does not change or does not depend on the time so when the time changes the value remains same or we are only considering the values of those field variables for the instantaneous time so now in real life application we have to consider the time so uh, some of the variables such as displacement force stress changes with the time or you can say those are the time dependent so uh, we have two cases in which we have to consider the time while we are doing the analysis of such problems the first case you can see here is the case of crankshaft the crankshaft is under loading condition, continuous loading condition and it rotates on some uh, frequency. So as you are aware about if the natural frequency of this crankshaft become uh, or merge with the natural frequency of atmosphere then the vibration of uh, the crankshaft will become maximum the amplitude of vibration become maximum and due to that it can uh, cause the failure of this component same for uh, other components of machine they also rotate on some frequency so we need to avoid some natural frequency of the system so that is the first case so first we need to find out uh, some natural frequency that we should avoid while designing the component in second case uh, the first case is for a longer period of time over the time the vibration produce and second is the second case we are considering the impact loading and it is for only for very short time for example some car is getting collided with uh, some part and due to that there will be some vibration and uh, that vibration passes through the body of the car chasing so for instant for instantaneous uh, a fraction of second the vibration or the impact loading is there on the first portion and after uh, that will pass through the body throughout the body so the vibrations are uh, there and due to the uh, motion uh, we have the values of uh, variables that depends on the time so in such cases uh, these cases can be converted into the equation of motion which is having some natural frequency and we have to keep in mind that uh, the natural frequency of such system are avoided so for this purpose we are studying the dynamic finite element analysis so now let's understand uh, the equation of motion for uh, the system so basically all the problems are uh, multi degree of, of freedom problem but for sake of understanding first we will understand the single degree of freedom motion so in the previous videos we have seen like this suppose this is my system so 
so that system is having some property material property which is elastic material k is the property and there is some uh, force applied so due to this force there would be some deflection which deflection can be denoted by u so k into u is equal to f so for single degree of freedom here is the equation of motion that we will uh, that we have seen earlier but now uh, if we are considering the damping condition so instead of considering only the material property we are also considering the damping property so it is denoted by c and we are also considering some mass which is connected to this so now uh, this can be represented as the undamped uh, free vibration or damped free vibration so with this thing we need to calculate or we need to include the damping as well as the mass so now this is the equation for the uh, single degree of freedom here the force is applied so this is the force component u where u is the displacement k is the material property or elasticity of component c is the damping property or damping coefficient m is the mass of system so which are uh, here u d is the velocity and u double uh, is known as acceleration so this is the relation between all this uh, phenomena or all this physical phenomena and which can be represented by this equation so this equation is known as equation of motion but now this is just for the single degree of freedom but for multi degree of freedom same equation can be used but uh, in terms of matrix form so this uh, this is the combination of uh, uh, all the elements and uh, this is representing the equation of motion for multi degree of freedom for whole system here the here you can say this is my mass matrix this is my damping matrix so this mass matrix represent the uh, masses of uh, the all elements and 
within the system the damping matrix represents the uh, property of damping of all the elements k is the stiffness matrix and f is the force vector here now in the multi degree of freedom all these systems are occupying the three dimension space and we need to consider the time also now so the displacement u vector displacement u vector is consist of u v and w which are the function of x y z and t because now we have to consider the time also so for time or t we need to consider so this matrix or this vector represents the uh, u v and w which are the function of cartesian system x y z and the time which is denoted by t so we need to consider this thing for solving the multi degree of freedom problems so now let's understand what is free and damped vibration so you can see the equation here in this equation if we are uh, putting the value of force that means there there are no external force is required then it is known as free vibration so the equation of motion for free vibration is equal to second is damping matrix so c and third is the stiffness matrix is equal to 0 because there is no external force is required so after initial uh, displacement the vibrations are done in uh, free manner so there is no external force is required for this vibration and for damp vibration or force vibration we require some force which is the represented by the function of time so here is my force which is the function of time and uh, this can be also written as u double dash is equal to the d square u by dt square u dash is du by dt and u is represented u so this is the equation of motion for the forced vibration or damp vibration with respect to time 
so these are the fundamentals for understanding the dynamics of fea and uh, in the next video we are going to see the vibration of rod and bar and we will formulate some equation for the same so hope you find it useful thank you